The third part of the neurological exam is assessing proprioception. This is done while the animal is standing as best as possible. I use a mat you can find at any hardware store to help the animal have better footing. You want to go ahead and position yourself in the back end of the animal. In a big dog like Rosie or Bigger, you want to go ahead and put your elbow on your knee and work mostly with the lift of your ankle so you don't break your back. I put my hand between her lips, her hips and go ahead and gently lift if I need to, but I will simply lift to take some balance off her back end so she doesn't tip over as I lift the leg. And so I will grab her feet, turn them under. This pulling reflex is just that, a reflex will draw. So when she stops pulling, I let go and wait for her to turn her foot over. As you can tell, she has proprioceptive deficits. I will go ahead and switch sides. Again, put my elbow on my knee and make sure I'm nice and stable so I don't get tipped forward by the dog and assess the other side. Again, Rosie has decreased proprioception in the right pelvic limb. The same thing can be done in the front end. However, this time, I will straddle the dog and place a hand between their legs as so. I will prevent the dog from tipping over or tipping me over, keeping my knees slightly bent. Grab the carbide, turn the paw over. Avoid grabbing the toes, they don't like this. Just simply turn the paw over. And there we go. One more time. Withdraw. And there we go. Normal. Very good, Rosie. Other tests that you can do in a smaller animal is hopping or extensor postural thrust, especially in cats. I'm going to demonstrate these with Rosie, but I prefer you do these mostly in smaller animals. The first one is hopping. By positioning the dog and straddling his standing and straddling himself over the back end, you lift one leg on the front and push the dog towards the other leg. Same thing on the other side. And listen to the clicks. And you can hear that Rosie is about the same speed, although slow on both sides. The extensive postural thrust is achieved by lifting the animal off the ground and putting its legs under it and watching the legs reposition under. This is a normal extensive postural thrust. In Rosie, it is slow as we already know. A proprioception is affected. I usually do not do tactile and visual placing as we've seen probably in the books in cats because they usually don't have to be blindfolded and don't cooperate as well. I will save that for animals that are more reflected to do other methods of assessment. These assessments of CPs usually will suffice.